around the region. Uh, temperatures just starting to get near 60 degrees here in the valleys, although Portland a little bit warmer again. And then along the coast, just kind of approaching those 60s as well. Into eastern Oregon, temperatures into the mid to upper 50s, a couple spots there into the 60s. But uh, as we go through the rest of the afternoon, showers will clear out for the most part. This evening, we might see uh, another couple light showers pass through, uh, but not a lot of wet weather for the rest of the day here. And then uh, you can see as we go into tonight, clearing out the skies a little bit, some clouds to start tomorrow morning, but we have this very wet system uh, that is going to be moving in as we go into Thursday evening. Our uh, model is moving very, very slowly at the moment. Not exactly sure what's going on there, but uh, you can see about four o'clock. We start to see some wet weather moving in. It stays wet as we go overnight uh, and then into Friday morning. It kind of breaks apart into some more shower activity uh, and then seeing those showers through the day on Friday uh, and then a little bit drier into the evening. Uh, but we are going to uh, probably not see any more measurable precipitation through the rest of today uh, just because those showers are so light and we're not expecting many more of them. But then as we go into the better part uh, or the second half of Thursday, looks like we get quite a bit more. There may be three quarters of an inch or so by Friday morning, adding more as we go into the weekend, uh, looking like maybe over two inches possible by the end of the day on Sunday. And then we have some more wet weather that moves through into the first half of next week. Uh, and we could be adding a couple more inches, three to four inches inches or so of precipitation definitely possible here into the metro area. And then down in Northern California, they're really getting hammered by this system as well. You can see potentially over 10 inches of precipitation there in Brookings. Uh, almost 10 inches in Redding. It's really kind of north of uh, San Francisco and Sacramento that is getting hit very hard with that wet weather. We're also seeing again those breezy conditions right now along the coast and here right in the Portland area dying down as we go through the afternoon and then into tomorrow morning. Really strong winds off uh, shore, but not quite going to be impacting the coastline too much tomorrow. Just very similar breezy conditions, but then we have some stronger wind gusts that will pick up, pick up into Saturday, potentially over 40 miles per hour along the coast and then dying down from there. So on the car wash forecast today, you might get a chance uh, if just some light showers, but then really the rest of the week, they're not going to be very good for that. And temperatures cooling down as we get into Friday with these showers. Again, the weekend looking quite wet, very cool and windy at times. And then it looks like we get more rain as we head early into next week.